I'm just going to read you out something that was posted in Info Vatican. It's a Spanish news site. Uh, I just thought, you know, it kind of shows us the direction we're taking um, with the Eucharist and the Mass in the church at the moment. So just have a listen to this. Uh, I just want to make some commentary on Word of Jude Day that's important uh, in the so that we reflect on it for future years, what we're doing in the church at this moment in time. I'm just going to read out what was posted in Info Vaticana. This is a Spanish news uh, outlet. And so I've just done a quick translation here. Uh, Surprise among priests at the mass of the meeting of the Spaniards in World Youth Day for having to distribute communion in bowls used for fried potatoes. When, when they meet for fried potatoes, these would be bowls that should be used in Spain for uh, potato chips or olives or something like that on a table. During the meeting of Spaniards on World Youth Day held in Spain, a mass was held in which bowls used for fried potatoes were used to distribute communion instead of suboriums. This unusual gen- uh, gesture has generated surprise and debate among attendees. The curious event took place in Estoril, where thousands of young Spaniards gathered to participate in the Mass presided over by Cardinal Omela. Instead of traditional chalices and patents, bowls used for fried potatoes or olives were used to distribute communion among the faithful. As seen in the photograph, the bowls were distributed distributed to priests with plastic wrap and IKEA code not even removed. According to sources close to the organisation of the event, this initiative sought to convey a message of humility and simplicity, inviting young people to reflect on the value of material elements in the liturgy. However, this choice was not without controversy, since some considered it was a lack of respect towards sacred symbols. And it is a lack of respect. If we think of the thousands and thousands of suboriums uh, in churches around the world, around Spain, around Portugal, thousands, if not millions, of sacred vessels in churches around, every priest could have gone to that mass and said, bring your suborium with you or something like this. Thousands. And yet, this is the, the madness of the Catholic Church at the moment, where... We couldn't be bothered to use what previous generations have left us. You go into museums and you see suboriums all over the place. (laughs) This is the sad, crazy reality. It's not a sign of respect. It's a a sign of stupidity, of utter stupidity. Anyway, I go on. In the face of criticism, the World Youth Day organisations have clarified that this was a decision was made by consensus and in full agreement with ecclesiastical authorities. In addition, they have emphasised that the intention was to promote an open dialogue and deep reflection on importance of faith and spirituality in the lives of young people. Yeah, our young people are watching us act like stupid idiots as we destroy the faith of previous generations. We don't show them what is respect. It's up to us to lead. It's up to us to lead and not to go out and get Ikea bowls. When we have... When previous generations have left us sacred vessels that have been consecrated for that use, we should show them that we respect the Eucharist and that it's serious and that we spent money on vessels to show respect for our Lord. Anyway, go on. Although this way of distribution communion may seem unusual and surprising to many, the Catholic Church allows some flexibility in choices of liturgical objects as long as the fundamental principles of the faith are respected. That is true. If you're in a prison camp or in a concentration camp or in some location and you need and, you know, the only vessel that you had was uh, an Ikea bowl, we can understand this. But this wasn't that type of flexibility. This was planned. They spent money on this, guys. In short, the use of bowls used for fried potatoes in the mass of the meeting of the Spaniards at World Youth Day in Portugal has generated controversy and debate among the faithful. While some see this as an opportunity to reflect on humility and simplicity, others consider it a lack of respect for sacred symbols. Undoubtedly, this fact will remain as an anecdote in the history of World Youth Day and will continue to be a subject of discussion in the coming days. The Mass was attended by more than Uh, 30,000 Spanish pilgrims and celebrated by 64 Spanish bishops and over 900 priests. 
Now, I have been following the World Youth Day for a number of years simply because I had friends who worked, were employed in the Vatican, that organised this event over several years. So I remember being in the Vatican, for example, with my family, when the World Youth Day cross was being packed or unpacked or moved around, as you can see from this photo in, that was taken a couple of years ago with my family in the Vatican. And, you know, I remember when Joseph Clemens was in charge of, uh, of that department of the Vatican of World Youth Day. And uh, I suppose many friends would have commented on, you know, the organisation that is involved in the World Youth Day. It was uh, something akin to <laughs> planning for the Queen's funeral and people would meet and discuss and organise and, you know, everybody will get involved. And, and you know, it, it's, it's the type of event that you need a heavy amount of preparation for. So people would, I remember friends would travel to these locations before World Day, Youth Day, meet with local representatives, go on, go on, you know, you know what I mean. And, uh, you know, if you look back at videos from previous events back in 2011, when Madrid World Youth Day was happening, you will see that during the Mass, uh, priests would have been the ministers of the Eucharist. They would have got out among the sheep smell a little bit, get in there and smell a little bit like the sheep. But in the opening mass today, or yesterday, in Lisbon, not a single priest bothered to go down and distribute communion. And this was probably the instruction they were given. We let the laity do this. So this is a marked departure from previous masses at World Youth Day. And, and there's, there's, no, there's no other way to put this. And this is, this is a decision that's been driven by Va the Vatican. This is a decision that's driven by the new leadership coming from Rome. Because uh, and that we, we all know this. We all, we all have seen the personnel changes in Rome. Not just clerics, but also laity that have been hmm, moved on. And, um, we can, we, and it begs the question, what is going on? When we see Ikea bowls being used, it begs the question, what is going on? What's the purpose of the ministerial priesthood if priests can't be bothered to pick up a ciborium to be ministers of the Eucharist? Now, I know a lot of priests were, were not happy with that situation yesterday in Lisbon. Uh, and, and under obedience, they just you know went ahead with what they were being told to do. But, you know, a ministerial priest has very few tasks that he needs to own. And one of those tasks is to be a minister of the body of our Lord, to minister the Eucharist, to get out among the faithful. And I just think the Vatican has lost the plot in what they're doing. And then they're trying to turn around to a next generation to encourage them to take up their vocation as, of being a Christian, of being a Catholic. And yet, and yet our leadership are not able to lead. Why why are Catholic leaders not able to lead, to show witness of what their job is actually to do? It's not up for a priest to stand up beside the altar and look pretty and sit down while the body of our Lord is being distributed you know, to the laity. You, know, you should get up. That's your job. And I'll call it out. I do think it's very, very sad. You know, we have... Over 500,000 teenagers in Ireland, in Irish Catholic schools on the island of Ireland. 500,000. Um, you know, 500,000 Catholic, baptised Catholics between the ages of 10 and 20 on this island. And not 1% of those 500,000 are able to go to an event like this in Spain. Not even half of 1% are able to go to the World Youth Day in Spain. In fact, you know, it's sad to see that the, that the numbers that went there are small. I think there was a sizable amount of Irish pilgrims youth that went to Medjugorje's youth festival. Um, and it's just to ask the question, guys, are we not going to provide leadership in this area? Are we not going to provide leadership to show that we should give reverence to our Lord? You know, oftentimes when I, you go into a chapel, and I, I'll say this about Loch Derg, you know, we went into, at Loch Derg, they were offering the Mass with new chalices. They'd gone out and bought new chalices over the last number of years, these kind of ceramic chalices. 
And yet they have a museum be behind the basilica in which they keep the old chalices there as museum pieces. What previous generations bought. I suppose the question has to be asked over the last number of decades. Why are we wasting money on these things when we had perfectly good vessels for the Eucharist that previous generations held, bought and paid for? Still good. Every couple of years you'll go off and you'll get them uh, replated, the inside. But still good, perfectly good vessels. Um, and in World Youth Day, the same. They have suboriums for those different masses. You know, the, 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 the Portuguese bishops, they have plenty of sacred vessels they could be using for these masses. And the same with the Spanish bishops. And this nonsense of using Ikea plates is, is incredibly insulting to our Lord. It goes to show we're not serious about the faith, that we can't take what is sacred seriously anymore. And, and I really do ask bishops and priests to stand up and be leaders. What, are you, what is your vocation? If somebody came into my family and said, well, I don't think you're parenting very well and you should be doing this that way, you should be doing it the other way. And, and, and somebody started pointing at parenting skills. I think a lot of parents would stand up and say, well, well excuse me, who are you to say that blah, blah, blah. I'll do my job and you do yours. You know, what is the purpose of the ministerial priesthood? What is the purpose of, of being a priest today? What are bishops doing on one side trying to give us slogans, take a risk for Christ, and you can stand up and be ministers of the Eucharist and go among the faithful to minister the Eucharist. I think I'll, and laity see this. Laity see this. And a lot of them will stay quiet and out of respect, won't say anything, but laity see what is happening. The laity see, and this is why the traditional movement will continue to grow and grow as we give less and less respect to our Lord in the Eucharist at the Mass. You know, we should respect our... And, and the, how we reverence the Eucharist should not be a sign of division in Catholicism. You know, we say the norm is to receive the Eucharist on the tongue. That's what's on paper, the norm in the Roman Rite, to receive the Eucharist on the tongue. And yet we don't promote this. We say that the norm is that the priest and bishop is the minister of the Eucharist. And yet at one of the biggest events, Catholic events, that we will hold for the youth this year, we don't promote this. And then we're scratching our head. Why don't we, we're trying to promote vocations? And yet we don't, we don't, we don't emphasise the role of the priesthood. The ministerial priesthood, the sacramental... You know, this guy is bonkers crazy what is going on in the church. And we've seen it for a number of years. This schizophrenic approach to the faith. We say thing, one thing, we, write, we have it on the papers, one thing, but we do another thing. It's bonkers crazy. And laity can see this. A lot of them won't say anything. But they're looking at what's going on and said, well, this guy... What's the point in being a priest? You sit down at Mass and you tell the laity to be to minister the Eucharist. Get up. Take a saborium. If it takes a few minutes extra to, to give communion, so what? There'll be a few minutes extra of prayer at church. You know, be men of faith. Be leaders. I just think it's so sad that you would have this event where you can showcase the Catholic faith, showcase reverence for the Eucharist. You have American bishops spending 20 million to renew faith in the Eucharist. And yet you can't minister the Eucharist as bishops and priests to the youth at World Youth Day. Imagine. And this is a new phenomenon. It didn't happen in Madrid in 2019. Look up the videos of the masses there. It was priests being ministers of the Eucharist. But look, we have to live through silly season in the Catholic Church until the, the church decides what direction it's going to take. You know, in this new rebranding exercise, we have Elon Musk that rebranded Twitter to X. And now we have the Catholic Church rebranding the Catholic Church to the Synodal Church. And what Synodal means, nobody can exactly explain to us. What does the faith mean in the Synodal Church? Synodalers, that's what the tweet was put out. Young Synodalers instead of young Catholics. In the spirit of Synodality, we're doing this. In the spirit of Christianity, I ask bishops and priests to wake up and be leaders and lead. And to stop this craziness that you're doing in the church. 
you know what previous generations held sacred and bought and paid for us because we have thousands of sacred vessels in churches around Europe many of them sitting and getting dust on them as we rush off to buy Ikea bowls it's the epitome of stupidity in the Catholic Church it goes to show how stupid some leaders are in the church that they think we're stupid oh it's to give a message we're, we're humble we're this we're that B.S. Capital B and capital S. B.S. And I call it out because you, you're you disrespecting what previous generations held sacred and have bought for this generation. Paid for. We don't need to buy anything new. You didn't need to waste money on Ikea bowls with stickers on them for a mass. There are literally thousands of suboriums in Portugal and Spain that could be used for World Youth Day and for different masses. Thousands. And I know for the World Youth Day event that they had ciboriums. I know this for a fact. You know, these events were timed. These were, they're, they're planned. You know, it's not less left to chance. And it's very sad to see what's going on at this moment in the church where we have such a lack of leadership in such fundamental area as respect for the Eucharist. We're not able to respect the body of our Lord. We're not able to tell priests, get up off your arse and take up a ciborium and get out there and smell the sheep. Face your sheep. Pastor your flock. No wonder men are not inspired to be priests. I mean, what man would be inspired to be a priest? The way priests are acting and bishops are acting in the church today. They're not able to speak up and say, well, look, this is our this is our mission. This is what we were ordained for. To be another Christ, to minister, to face people. You know, it's it's bloody pathetic, to be honest, to spend seven to how many years of formation that many laity don't have the privilege of doing. And yet you're not able to do the basics of the faith to minister the Eucharist. And then you'll turn and have the audacity to turn around to us and start praying for vocations and let's do take a risk for Christ. And at the same time, we're not going to take a risk to even take up a suborium at some masses. And it's not being about devices, it's calling out that that craziness that you're that the, the schizophrenic reality that you're that you're preaching in the church. You're saying one thing and doing another. And the laity are watching. And they're saying, what are you doing? Where is the leadership? And we're all wondering, where is the leadership on this? Know your vocation. Know your responsibilities. What your task to do. What your task to preach. What is the deposit of the faith? Know it. Preach it. Live it. Don't be ashamed of it. Don't give us this whatever about ikea bowls and trying to oh it's we're trying to be humble this is the new church and we don't want to be clerical anymore the church doesn't want to the church hates clerics so much you want to get rid of the priesthood it seems i mean guys this is where we're going and i, I mean it's even been discussed at some of these synodal meetings in germany you listen to it and it's the craziness that's going on here <sighs> You know, somebody has to call it out. And we're not the only one. A a lot of people are looking at the same stuff, craziness. You know, put your, send your Ikea bowls back to Ikea and go into your churches and take out the sacred vessels that previous generations have already bought and paid for and use them. And don't be ashamed of, of what previous generations have left you. Because it seems like the Catholic Church now is ashamed of what previous generations built, paid for and used. We're on this whatever trajectory to destroy everything that what previous generations had. We'll put it into museums. We'll put it... How many times I go to museums and I see sacred vessels in museums? In Catholic museums, in cathedrals. And they'll go off and buy some ceramic whatever. Oh no, it's a humble church. We don't use gold for our Lord anymore. He, He doesn't need gold doesn't need that that that's too luxurious you know and people would say we've too much money and blah 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 so we'll spend more money we'll spend more money this is what the church is doing we'll spend more money now on other stuff that we don't need to give an impression god bless you
pray for the church, renew the Eucharist. Us laity can lead here. We can kneel and receive our Lord in a tongue. We can show reverence for the Eucharist, even if our leaders don't want to do it. Even if our leaders don't want to be there, do their job and be ministers, we can show reverence for our Lord, who hasn't abandoned us. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.